Well, the passing of John Motson is a very sad day for everybody concerned in football, for broadcasters, for managers, for directors, and most importantly, fans as well. He was the voice that everybody was brought up with over the last, well, three to four decades. His was the voice that you heard in your head when you were a kid on the playground or in the school park or, or on the school field and you were going through on goal, you were making a save. You heard John Motson's commentary on your greatest moments. He also heard it on Match of the Day every week as well at the World Cups, the European Championships, FA Cup Finals. His was the iconic voice for so many generations. Before him, you imagined uh, the commentator sitting there at the BBC in a dinner jacket correctly pronouncing the names. When Motty came, you could picture him huddled up on a gantry in his sheepskin coat with his notes blowing away, but him giving a very accurate commentary on games as well. He gave me an opportunity in broadcasting personally uh, back in the day. Uh, the BBC covered the FA Cup from the very first round all the way through to the final and they chose to uh, cover Bridlington Town one year. I was the goalkeeper. I was fresh back from university in the United States in, in Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut. And I actually sat him down for about half an hour and asked him questions about his career, how he did his notes, how he got his facts, how he asked questions, all the little mannerisms that he came up with as well. And he gave me every second of his time. He remembered that because a few weeks later he couldn't actually make the second leg of the FA Cup. And he suggested to the BBC that this goalkeeper, this very eager goalkeeper, substituted for him. So I became Motti's sub. I got myself on Grandstand Football Focus. It was the end of my football career, but it was the start of uh, my commentating and broadcasting career as well. A few years later, I bumped into him at Broadcasting House, where the BBC is based. And he couldn't remember my name, but that's not unlike Motti. And he suggested that maybe I'd like to cover for him on the Spurs Club Call, which was a, a phone-in service back in the day where you could phone and listen to commentaries on Tottenham Hotspur games. So again, I was the sub for John Motson. Years later, when he would come up to the northwest of England and be covering a team that he wasn't familiar with, something like Tramley Rovers or my beloved Hull City, he'd give you a call or ask you out for a beer the night before a game. And he would actually ask your opinions and ask you for little fun facts on players as well. And it was it was heartwarming when you'd hear him on Match of the Day uh, repeat something or fine tune something that you'd said to him in the bar the night before. So he was a great man. He was, he was a great commentator. He's a great listener as well. Uh, and everybody has a story about John Watson. I'm not quite sure I've got the words, but I know one man that would have all of the words, and that would be John Watson. He truly was a great, an icon of the footballing world, and he'll be really, really missed.